hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel in this simple tutorial i'm going to be answering somebody's question so let me first go to the news because it's about the news api i want you to take a look at the formatted date so how the news api gives us the published date let me search for amazon i want you to take a look at the published date so this is what the news api returns back to us as you can see it's nice but for users not every user understand this format somebody called sony show your name very well sony said please me <laughs> please help me i'm changing the date format into the day month and year so that's what i'm going to be showing you this simple tutorial <laughs> please me please help me so let's go straight into it so what i'm going to do i'm first going to copy this before showing you how you can integrate this into your the api project so let us copy this date format and i think we can this on a single screen double sides before the body crossing tag i'm going to put my script tags yeah script and i'm going to create a variable of news api bit this is what the news api gives us I already created this boiler HTML plate, so you can go ahead and create your own. So we are first going to work from this side. So this is what the API returns back to the users. Remember our friend Sony. Oh, those are Sony wants us to get the day, month, and year. Very, very simple work <laughs> remember the news api gives us this what we are going to do we are going to convert this into a universal timestamp we are going to create a variable called timestamp timestamp and we are going to assign it to the date object so this is how you create the date object and it's going to take in the news api date so right here and as I said, we are first going to convert this to a universal timestamp. So we use the get time method. Let me in your browser press Ctrl Shift I to bring up this console panel. Let me zoom in a little bit in the console. So what you're going to first do is console out this timestamp console.log and we are going to console timestamp. So this is the universal timestamp. So what this method does, the get time, it returns back a numeric value of that specified date universal time format this is what they return back to us let me format this properly I'm going to call this timestamp it's going to get an error let us append this oh so this is the don't mind about this error it's done by the browser so right now we have this unique universal timestamp then the next thing we are going to do we are going to be getting the day from this universal timestamp so we are going to create another variable let's call it day we are going to assign it to the date object still this date object is going to be taking in this timestamp but for now we are going to be calling the get date method 
going to copy this four times, paste it. So here, this one is going to be the day. We're going to be getting this day here. Day going to be the month and this one is going to be the year right now where do we have yes this let us let's leave these ones empty this one is supposed to be day so as you can see it gives us the day from this timestamp that is returned back from the news api so we use this get date method and it returns back a numerical value of that day nine then let's go ahead and get the math so let math and we're going to assign it to the date object it's going to take in our timestamp and recall the get math method say plus one so a lot of guys get confused of this plus one but let us first console this math right here so right now they are showing you a numerical value of four so you can see the year is 2020 the month then the day here we managed to get the day using this get date method. Now for the month, I want to explain this very clearly. So this is how human beings read the month. So January is the first month of the year. Then Feb is the second month of the year and so on. So by default computers don't read like this. For them they start from zero so this is how they read their month then January is first and so on like that now for us to go past that method we need to increment it by one so that it starts reading from one see when we don't put plus one here it's going to be giving us the previous month so we are in April but it's giving us March so the reason why we add a plus one here is move away from this system of starting from zero sorry so computers that's how they this is what this get math method does for it start it starts counting from zero one stuff like that and for us to go around that problem we increment it by one so that it gives us the actuate math that we are in very very simple as you can see we have extracted now the math then let us get the year and here yeah, it's very very simple so yeah we assign it to the date object which takes in our timestamp that we got from the new API and we get for this get full year method then let us console log the year wow the year and this is the year so us having these values then we can easily format our date where we want so lastly here we are going to create a new variable and call it our new it format so you can call it anything you want i'm going to use this template retailers the back ticks say dollar sign to put the forward slash dollar sign curly brackets 
then we are going to put the math forward slash then dollar sign we're going to put yeah that's sol.log our new date format this is what we are having so the article was published on 9 April 2020 so in case you don't want to get this numerical value of 4 use another method let us first comment out that then there is another method called local string this takes in two values first we specify that we need the default date then it takes in another takes in an object as the second option here we're going to specify that we need the math either the short one oh month you can see here it returns back the short month so if you want the long one put long and give you april so in case you want text value of the month use this method local string passing values default and object with month the value of long if you want the long month short if just the acronym of that month or the name but let's go back to the back to the like value so by having this simple code here can easily go out and format API date format that you return back from the news API. We have managed to convert this to what Sony asks for the day, month, year. Very, very simple. As you saw, our console, let us try to put it in the browser document dot write this is what we got we have converted the oh You have converted this to this. See, very very simple. Now, for you, the way you can integrate this with use API. See, Let's get rid of these all the logs. Easiest way you can do this go to your application. Let's take out this. Then I already done this side work. So make sure you put this code inside your loop. So as you can see we are inside the loop and we are getting the value as we have done here so pass this value that is got from the api to a variable so i created time stamp and i went ahead put the value that comes back from the news api i get 
the universal time. Go on getting the day, the month. Then this original date is what you echo out where you want to display the date. For me, where I echoed out that published date at. So make sure you do the same when you are in your project. So this is the final output. You get this original date. What you have to output for the users. Users will be able to see this format instead of this. So guys, I hope this tutorial was useful to you. Please go ahead, subscribe to the channel. I will always see you in these tutorials. So I hope my friend Sony, I answered you. You got the day, the month, and yeah, peace.